so glad this is the very last week of feeding Beauty a bottle. She's getting so big and it's just a pain in the butt feeding four calves. So I'm definitely glad that she's almost done. Now to let the little brat out, if I can untie this. No, we're not letting him out. Which, by the way, we decided to name him Gaston. So since we have a beauty and a bell that um, he's going to be breeding, it's only fitting to name him Gaston. I mean, Beauty and the Beast, Gaston was way better than the Beast. I mean, come on, he would hunt and he wanted to marry Belle and have babies with her. The Beast was just this lazy, had servants, grouch. So at least as, when I was a kid and I watched Beauty and the Beast, I always liked Gaston. He was my favorite. So we have named this little guy Gaston. So yeah. Do I really have to chase you down? You seriously drive me crazy. Giving her a bottle, she tamed up, but that wore off pretty quickly. I would love to take you away from your mother so we don't have to do this all the time. Which by the way, Sammy's doing good. Look at him running. I was so worried about him. He, uh, that one, well, it wasn't one night. It was a couple days where he was not doing good. And then the one day, he just laid on his back with his legs up in the air. <laughs> would not move, would not bark. I mean, nothing. Was not doing good at all. I don't know what happened to him. So I gave him, we butchered that pig. So I gave him, I had lungs and a heart in the fridge. So I gave that to him. Man, that perked him up. The next morning, he was barking and doing so much better. But he was still walking around on three legs and holding up his other foot. I don't know. I couldn't say anything wrong with it, but he'd cry every time I touched it. But, um, yeah, just the next day after that then, he was back to normal. He was fine. So we're definitely happy that he's doing good and nothing major happened. So, yeah, I don't know what was wrong, but we're happy that he's better. Come this way. Go around and chase her out. Chase her out, she'll go out. Okay, chase her, is she running? There we go. Go ahead, chase her up that way. There we go, go to your mother. There they go, she's gonna jump through the fence back to her mommy, which is really annoying. There she goes. It is so annoying that she will not stay with her mother. During the day, she stays in the field, but she will not stay with her mother unless she wants something to eat. Then she goes to her mother. But usually, she's by herself, Daisy's by herself, and then when it becomes nighttime, the little brat jumps through the fence and goes and lays in the weeds. So, and every time she does it, she gets further and further away. So we have to put her in with the calves at night so she doesn't run away because I do not want to lose that, lose that calf to coyotes. Like, that would be terrible. So it just really stings that every night we have to catch her and put her in with the calves, but it's for her own safety. And then in the morning we get the joy of listening to Daisy mooing for her. But at least when she's in with the calves, I know she's safe and she's not running around in the woods. My hubby's leaving for work. <sighs> taking my car still because he still doesn't have one. He learned his lesson not to drive through high water. I, I don't think so, probably not. He'll probably do it again. Good morning, piggies. Yeah, Michael's gonna get their water. I need your pumpkin. Do I need to break that for you guys? Hi, Gordy. Get a little frisky.
morning, piggies. I'm gonna miss the little piggies when they all go. They are really cute, I don't know. I just like seeing them. So it's gonna be sad when they're not in there anymore. We're coming to you, do you guys now. I know you're hungry. Looking lovely today. I'm so excited for you because beauty's gonna be your box buddy soon. You're gonna be getting a friend. To let the chickens out. So refreshing having another cow that I can actually pet. <laughs> It's so nice being able to pet you, and you actually like me. Isn't Sally looking so pretty since her hair's coming in? Sally! I know, it looks so nice. You can tell she still has a lot of you know, her winter coat that needs to come out, but She's looking really nice and sleek where that old hair came out and it's growing back. Good morning, Sally. What's that? I I know, yeah, it does feel different. Just stay behind us while we go into the stanchion, okay? Sally. <laughs> and Daisy and the little brat. She takes just after her mother. She takes after you, Daisy. Both brats. Which we started giving her these cubes again. Cause if I give her those cubes, it takes her a lot longer to eat her food. And Daisy's coming in. You can, you want to dump Daisy her bucket? Mm. It did not take Daisy long before she started coming in the stanchion again. Because this is where she has to eat if she wants food. So it was only like one day she wouldn't come in. But I mean, it's not like she was going to starve. She had hay. She still had hay to eat, but yeah, she comes in the stanchion every time now, but obviously I'm not locking her in the head gate because there's really no point. I'm not milking her. I'm not getting kicked in the face again. It's not worth it. And I have been able to tell that her bag has definitely shrunk up. Like, I hope, I hope she didn't get mastitis or something because I feel like Eve is a little skinny on the skinny side and as much milk as she's producing or she should be producing there's no reason she should have a skinny calf so I really have to keep an eye on that because I mean if Eve gets really skinny I'm gonna just have to give her a bottle because it means that I don't know Daisy's drying up because she got mass tires or something I don't know I don't know so I just know I gotta keep an eye on her and make sure that Daisy's actually feeding her what she needs to eat.
all done. I feel like things are finally getting back to normal with the cows. Sally was definitely a chore getting out of her getting out of here, getting her out of here. Um, after milking her since she's moved and then she just wants Sally, I mean Daisy's uh food. So I mean it was really hard getting out here. I had to use the, the two by four to push her out and everything else. But anyway, it's definitely calmed down. Except for Daisy. I just don't know what to do about her. She comes in to eat now, but as soon as I get close to her, she like backs out and backs away and she's just so skittish and so wild. I don't know how I'm ever going to tame her up and get her friendly. I mean, I cannot touch her. The only way I can touch her to pet her is to lock her in the head gate. And if I do that, she's not going to come in anymore and she needs to eat. <clears throat> if she doesn't eat, she's not going to produce milk, which I did up her food, but she doesn't eat it all because she's so slow. I mean, she eats the majority of it. So the fact that um, Eve is on the skinny side, I wouldn't say it's because she's not getting enough food. That Daisy's not getting enough food to produce milk. It's not that. I think it's because Daisy wasn't milked out when she should have been. And I don't know, some of her quarters might have dried up. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm going to keep an eye on her. I mean, if she starts to get too skinny, then I'll just start giving her a bottle. But, I mean, I don't want to give her a bottle. And then she starts smelling like Sally. And then Sally's like, oh, this is my baby. <laughs> and then that opens a whole nother can of worms. So, yeah, I'm not going to give her a ton of milk in a bottle if I have to give her milk. I mean, obviously, I want to keep her alive, though. My little puppy dogs. And my little puppy dog. Little lovebirds. Handsome Earl. Yeah. I do think he is a very pretty healer. I've seen healers that I think are like kind of ugly. But he is definitely the prettiest healer I've seen. Him and his puppies. His puppies definitely get... Well, Maggie's a pretty healer too though. Michael, you want to take some hay down to Belle? Here, I'll give you a little bit more. Okay. There you go, Happy. There's your hay. See, so you knocked over your water dish, so now I gotta go in and get that. I definitely feed him too much because he doesn't clean it up. But, I want to make sure that he's fat and happy, so he's less likely to try to get out. So I really, really want to start calling around to get some guys in here to put up a fence for us. A woven wire fence. But, my husband originally wanted to do it ourselves. But, I really don't want to spend all summer putting up a fence. And the amount of fencing that we need to put up, it's going to take multiple summers. <laughs> multiple. <laughs> and I, we need the fence now because I want to, um, you know, put Happy in his own pasture with the bull calves that are going to be weaned soon. And I want to put Belle in her pasture with, you know, the heifers. So, which we only have two heifers right now. But once Eve is weaned, it's gonna be a while. But once she's weaned, she's gonna go in with Belle and Beauty too. So we need multiple pastures like now. So I definitely wanna call some people to get quotes. But just kind of waiting until our other house is sold because we don't wanna sink a whole bunch of money into fencing and a barn and four wheelers <laughs> and everything else that we need until our other house is sold. So, kind of waiting on that. So hopefully that is done soon and we can get all the stuff set up that we need. Patiently waiting for your hay, which I feel bad because you're always by yourself now. Like I, I never, you, Daisy and Sally were always together. 
before she had the baby. You know I'm talking about you. But now that Daisy had the baby, she's always wandering off somewhere, and the baby's always wandering off somewhere, and then Sally's by herself, which I feel bad. Which, I have been looking at this other Jersey cow that's not far away from us. I've been thinking about getting her, but I just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like cause more problems. Like, things are finally calming down again. <laughs> I do not want to get another cow and then it's like, okay, well, now you have this whole, this whole like new issue that needs to be fixed. But I mean, I don't see Daisy taming up at all. So we have that whole other milk stanchion that's like not being used really. But do I need another cow? No, I do not. I do not need another cow, especially not until we have fences set up. So I'm not gonna get her, but it just really hurts every time I get on Craigslist or Facebook and I see that same cow listed. And it's like, she would make a good friend for Sally, but I'm not gonna do it. I might want to, but I'm not gonna do it. So see you later.